All right, so what about bows? That's the other part of the equation. Oh man, well bows, as you can see, oh, right. I, yeah. have, I have my <laughs> first tattoo. Carrying a bow. I'm always carrying, this is my elbow. Yeah. <laughs> nice. um, I, uh, I'm a bow nut, total bow, I mean certified bow geek. And uh, mostly just because I had a teacher who said, this is the tune, but this is the song. You know, yeah. So this is where you really shoot yeah, and beautiful. put your voice into it. And yeah. um, I was really young when he told me that, but it, it stuck with me over the years. And every time I learned a bit more about Boeing, it was like, you know, he was kind of right. Yeah. Um, so once again, same with the violin. The bow is really important. And a lot of people just say, well, it's a stick with hair. Ballad, you know. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that the bow does that's important, once again, to get a bow that's curated, already um, kind of picked over to make sure it doesn't have any issues that are going to work against you as a player. So um, when you tighten up the bow, you know, the way that we test them out is we test the strength and how do they flex, you know, does it have any weak spots through it? Um, and also does it have any, like, is it too bouncy or is it too heavy? Is it too clubby feeling? Yeah. Um, all the bows that we carry here and that we recommend to folks generally are for under a certain price range, which kind of in this day and age um, is under say $1,500 actually mm -hmm. um, is going to be carbon fiber or a Pernambuco which is the traditional wood bows are made out of um, it's going to be an alternative to Pernambuco right um, and there's a whole other video worth of reasons as to why yeah but mainly yeah. it's for conservation of wood yeah. and forest yeah. um, but the great thing about carbon fiber bows and some of these wood alternatives that they've come out with is it's a thing that can be replicated. Basically, they've created a formula, and they know that when they push go on the machine, it's going to come out. And it's going to be a reasonable quality. A reasonable quality, yeah. and it's going to suit the player and do yeah. everything that they need to do physically as a, play, mm -hmm. as a player's bow. Um, then, as you get, you know, once again, same way with the instruments, you start, you know, getting better, and you want something that suits your playing more. You want something that suits your sound your idea of what you want to sound like so you look at different instruments well the bow can absolutely transform your instrument in playing you know um, and we've been through this before we have you know yes. it's really fun um, that's when you start looking beyond your first bow but for your first bow get something that your teacher or the shop really recommends as this is going to suit you and it's likely going to be a carbon fiber bow yeah, you know. I've always suggested carbon fiber as a great entry level uh, bow. It's actually, it goes right from entry level through to up until last year, professionally, I was playing exclusively on carbon fiber yeah. bows. And an entry level carbon fiber bow, uh, what does that set you back? So you can find them for as low as say 75 to $100. Um, we sell carbon fiber bows in our shop currently up to about 3,000. There are okay. companies yeah. that are making them up to 8,000. Mm -hmm. um, really high above that, ones, yeah. yeah. But um, at that point, you know, it's a maker choosing carbon fiber as their material of choice. Yeah. Um, but if you're a new player, just get yourself a, you know, set aside 100 to 300 bucks. That's all you have to spend. Cool. 100 to 300 yeah. on a carbon fiber? I think that sounds like And you'll like play a good... it until you got as good as George. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> With all of that, new information and yeah. this violin and this bow uh why don't you give us a little demo i would love to and uh tell us what uh walking out of the shop what is this thing yeah what what are these and uh what they would set you back um and i'll leave it i'll hand the stage over to you that sounds good so this right here is the uh music city fiddle nashville and i have our neotech carbon fiber bow this is the neotech 2 and then this is the coon shoulder rest, and it would be paired typically with a hard shell case, something like the bar, the Bobolock um, shaped case. And that's kind of our, you know, most common package for someone who really wants to get that fiddle that'll last them for the first, say, three to five years of their playing. Um, and then they come in and trade it in and trade it up, you know. Um, you can walk out for a little cheaper. That's around 1200. You can walk out a little cheaper with the uh, Etude, which is our rental package. Um, but as mentioned before, I'd recommend just renting those. So uh, this is really the package I'd recommend, but this is going to carry you through.
so if anybody watching the video is uh, looking to rent or uh, buy an instrument from you, where can they go? So you can go to theviolinshop.com. That's theviolinshop.com. Uh, you can also... The, yes, the, the only violin. The only violin shop at <laughs> that <call>. address. <laughs> um, yeah, and don't hesitate to email us, call us. And if you, you know, email us, you'll probably get a call back because we want to get to know who we're doing business with and find a way to suit, you know, our, our customers the best we can. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Brandon. Thanks, George. Uh, so good to see you. I appreciate and, it. Uh, thank you for this amazing overview. Anytime. It's going to be really valuable. All right. Okay. Catch up.